So at first I was wondering why I haven't seen a content creator talk about this team. Double Sishia, Drang, Nut, and Acrisia. And as I was saying it out loud, I realized what the issue was. That if I shared, if a content creator shared anything that included something like Acrisia and told them to build this team, then they would probably get a lot of flack because the fact of the matter is getting a Krizia isn't exactly the easiest thing to do unless you're a spender. Getting double Sishia, you know, I can see that being a thing because I know a lot of people get dupes, especially if you've been playing for a long time. Drang shouldn't be too uh, far outside of your reach and Nut was a fusion, so I'm assuming that many of you guys have Nut. But a Krizia is kind of the, the whole issue here so if you don't have a Krizia, if you're gonna get mad about it i would say just leave this is just for entertainment purposes only i'm not telling you guys to build this team i'm just sharing this team with you guys yeah but if you type in if you type in hard 10 spider raid double sishia i don't see anything that pops up like i see a bunch of these teams and honestly a lot of these teams can do the same as this team that i'm showing you guys right now but a lot better in some cases and a lot more so accessible for most people. That's why I'm not telling you guys to build this team. I'm just sh sharing the team with you guys. Like we got 10 seconds coming from Cold Brew. We have, what is this, another, let's see. Best time, 11 seconds from Cold Brew. Final Kenpachi, 11 seconds. Noah Krizia, One Sishia, Ataris, and Mordecai. So yeah, there's a lot of good teams out there. A lot of these content creators are really great. Go ahead and check them out. Again, I'm just sharing this for entertainment purposes. As far as possible replacements for Acrisia, uh, I'll, I'll explain in a bit. Let's just run this team real quick. I'll slow it down so we can talk about it. The first, Sishia is going to place her Weaken. She's not fully booked, but I haven't seen this team fail yet, and I've run it a few times already. Then Walking Tomb Drang, WTD, is going to place his Irresistible HP Burns. The second, Sishia is going to place the Decreased Defense. And Acrisia is going to wipe through the entire team while doing her EMHP move to the boss as well. And then Nut is going to clean up house. So let's go ahead and see that again, but in full speed. First Sishia. Weaken helps with extra damage. Then the Irresistible HP Burns, the Decreased Defense, and uh, Eruption from the HP Burns that are coming from the second Sishia, which only happens if HP Burns are there. So the turn order is very important. First Sishia's, then, or first Sishia goes, then Drang goes, and then the second Sishia goes to activate HP Burns and place Decreased Defense. Then uh, Crazy and Nut do their thing. So let's go ahead, and my cat is bumping her head against me one more time. Boom. HP Burns, AoEs. Flame Eruptions, we're getting the decreased defense. The crazy is important because you need to be able to hit and kill all the spiders because every spider tick, every spider that dies is going to be doing damage to the main spider. And you also have to be hitting the main uh, Tainted Scarab, Scavrog, whatever her name is. The main spider needs to be getting hit as well. I've tried to use Harima and use her AoE to see if, I, if killing the spiders would do it, but no, I've tried Georgian. And the main point is, Acrisia is able to hit everybody and the spider on top of that with her uh, EMHP move. So here's the team setup. Let me share how this is um, built in case, or let me share the presets with you guys in case there is anybody who can build this team. I'll move myself over here. So the first issue that goes is right here. She's going at 260. She's going to do her weaken ability. Of course, she's not booked, but again, it hasn't bothered me and it hasn't um, uh, failed yet. The second Sishia is going to attack again, instantly activating the HP burn debuff on each target. So we're doing some more damage and all those HP burns are spread. So we're killing some spiders on top of that. We're placing decreased defense. Decreased defense is going to be necessary because we need to make sure that we're doing as much damage with Nut and Acrisia. But before this Sishia goes, actually, Drang needs to go and place his irresistible as long as he is fully booked HP burn. Cannot be resisted. So he does his HP burn and then the second Sishia goes. After she goes, either Nut or Acrisia can go. 
Blessed Bash is going to be coming from Nut, so he's going to be doing his triple hitter EMHP move, doing significant amounts of damage. Then Akrizia is going to be sweeping. Now, when it comes to who goes first, I just have Akrizia going first here, and she kills all the Spiderlings and hits the boss. She's going at 255 speed. It's important that she is speed tuned. The speed tunes matter here, so um, just be aware of that. As long as you're going faster than 246 speed, as long as you're going faster than 246 speed, but still slower than the Sishias, you're going to be good. But the way that this best works is if Sishias and Dregs go, and then Nut and Akrizia goes. So again, over 246 speed, but for this specific comp, we gotta go under 257 for Akrizia and for Nut. And let me show you guys their builds real quick. So here are both Sishias. The sets don't actually matter. What actually matters the most is getting the set back over here. The stats right. You want to make sure that the speeds are right. I think this the hard spider is going at hard 10 spider is going at 245 speed, I think. So that's why it's important to go above 246. So speed, accuracy, make sure you got enough accuracy. I think 350 is a good amount. This second Sishia has more accuracy going at 471 and she's going at 260 speed. So there's that. Drang, WTG is a lot easier to build. You just want to make sure that he is going fast enough to place his, again, irresistible HP burns. He doesn't need any accuracy because like the skill says, irresistible, cannot be resisted. Just make sure he's booked because you need this. Otherwise it'll only be a 75% chance. Oh, did I make sure the other Sishia is booked? One of these Sishias needs to be booked. So this one, this one. So this one right here, fully booked on the A2. So walking tomb Dreng, that's the only purpose he's here for, or that his only purpose is to place the HP burns. But if you want, go ahead and take a look at these masteries. Can I show you the masteries for Sishias? Here's the masteries. Here are the masteries for the first Sishia. And the second Sishia doesn't have any masteries. Let's talk about Nut real quick. It is the first Nut. I think it's the first Nut, right? Yeah, it's the first Nut that is that is uh, on this team. The one with Soul Reap. So he is in Savage, completely kitted out for damage. And 254 speed, crit cap. What I really like to see is about 5k for defense, because this damage is coming from defense. If you have an attack-based nuker, you're looking for a minimum of 5k attack and 250 crit damage. He's going at 263 crit damage. Here are his masteries. You could take Helm Smasher if you wanted to. And by the way, guys, let me know if there's any other champions that could slot in for Akrizia. This Akrizia is going to be in Savage. It's important, 255 speed, 100% crit rate, 250 minimum crit damage, 5k minimum attack. But yeah, the main reason she's here is for her A2. She can hit everybody with her EMHP move, and that's imperative. 